Hi everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an event, an upcoming live event, in your channel. First thing you need to do is log in as your as an administrator. So you're going to use your administrator credentials. Click login. We're now logged into the channel, and we're going to click my account. That'll bring you to your dashboard where you can manage all of the content on your channel. So the first thing we're going to do is click on events. And again, there are a variety of different options here. So we have online events, courses. If that's if we're going to create a series of events that are going to uh, all be part of one specific course. Um, uh, local events, which are events that are happening in your physical location or somewhere else that are actually not online events, but uh, what we call brick and mortar events. So the first thing we're going to do here to create an online event is click on online events. It shows me a list of events that I have created in my channel. And I'm going to click create a new event. And the first thing I'm going to do is go down to the title field and give this event a name. Don't worry about this first, um, this first field. So we're going to call it how to grow from within. So we've got our title and now we click here on the the short description. This is a maximum of 340 characters and this is the the text that's going to show up on your upcoming event page. So it's just a brief uh, text to get people to want to click. So we're going to say um, this is a great class you don't want to miss. And in this class description field, this is an expanded description. So uh, when someone clicks on the actual event, as you'll see later when we show it to you on the front page, when you click on this expanded view, you can uh, have more information or content related to this particular event. And of course here, you have the ability to add uh, images, uh, insert, even insert a, a video clip here if you want as well. Uh, you can add a table or add a link uh, to another website or another part of your page. That can all be done here. I'm going to give it a, a, a more detailed description. Join Rick uh, as he teaches you all about finding your self. Okay, sounds like a very exciting class. You definitely don't want to miss this one. And the next thing we're going to do is pick a presenter. This is going to list all the presenters that are associated with your channel. And we're going to click one. We can double click on it, push it over here to, uh, once you see it in this column, you know that it's, it's been added. We're going to choose a time zone, in this case, Eastern time, which is the time from where we're presenting the actual class and we're going to give it a date. So we're, we wanted, let's say we're going to do this on the 25th of February. The time, it's a single digit time. So for example, we're going to do this at 8.30, I would do 08.30 p.m. And obviously if it was 10 p.m., I would just do 10 colon 00 and then p.m. If I had some topics associated, or listed in the channel, which I don't at the moment, I would select a topic. So th th that's basically a tag. So if I had something there called music or personal growth, that would be associated with that this particular event. Don't worry about groups for now. Price it would be a number if it's a, obviously if there's a cost associated with this event. In this case, it's free, so we'll just leave that as zero. We're then going to choose an image. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Let's find an image. Uh, here we'll take this one. And 
that will show up here. We pulled an image. Event URL is not important for now. Resources are any particular files like a PDF or a Word document or something like that that you would want to have people access from the event page itself before the the actual event is taking place. So it could be a piece of you know a booklet or a workbook or something like that uh, that you want them to have in advance to prepare for this particular class you would put it there. You can also obviously send them these documents in the actual event itself but this is a, a spot where you can add them you need to have access prior to the actual event itself. The next thing is is to choose the event type. There are three types of events that we can create in the system public, private, and restricted. Public event is event that is going to show up and display on your uh, home on your page on your channel page where people can just click sign up and attend that event a private event won't show up anywhere on your page uh, but you will be able to create the event obviously and you would manually have to take the URL for that event and email it out to those participants that you want to have attend this particular event so that way nobody else uh, would be able to see or attend the event. Restricted works actually similar to the way a public event does in that it does display the same way on the uh, on the your upcoming events page but when someone clicks to sign up it's going to say this event has been restricted by the administrator and you need permission to to attend uh, and what happens at that point is you will as an administrator will automatically get an email that says this person with their name and their email address wants to attend this event uh, and you would have to approve them and we we can show you how to do that in a in another uh, tutorial but for the time being we're going to select pub select public show on project sinai homepage that is if you want to take this this event and display it on the project sinai main page for other people that are not necessarily coming to your channel to see. Uh, that way you can, it's a way to obviously generate more traffic to your events. In this particular case right now, we're gonna click this off and just display it on our channel. So we click save, and when we click save, it takes us back to our event list, and we see here's the event that we created, how to grow from within, and Again, I have the ability to delete it or edit it or clone it, uh, and I can also see a list of attendees that are uh, that have signed up for this event here as well. So, uh, if we go back to our uh, our channel and I click on online events, there's our event. This is the short description that I was talking about when I click on the event itself. But we'll see now this is where the expanded view is and uh, because you're now logged in as a as a administrator um, it will give you this enter button here if I was just logged in as a regular user or not logged in at all it would say sign up but again because I'm an administrator I can get right into the event and set up that that event space uh, prior to anyone attending the class and again here because I had selected presenter I must have clicked twice and that's why I'm in there twice but um, that would display all the information about the presenter for this class so I'm gonna click enter that should take us into our event in another tutorial I'll show you how to actually manage the actual event itself but for now the last thing I want to show you here we're gonna close this event and we're going to go back to our uh, event list. There's an option here to add this to the banner. So when I do that, and I go back to my channel page, let's go back to our upcoming events. It's now that uh, image, as you can see, is added to our banner here. Once this scrolls through, you'll see it again as the first image there it is there so we can promote our classes in the banner and our, uh, as well so that's how to create an event